Hey guys, it's Ryder here with another Power Rangers Dino Supercharge review. This is episode 6, Forged Under Fire. So, if you felt a little underwhelmed last week with the explanation of the Aqua Ranger, Tyler's dad, where he came from, where he kind of got his power from, this episode kind of answers and you know, gives your feedback to those questions you had last week, and I really like that. Um, also, I gotta say, I, I'm not just saying this because, you know, it's like, new ranger, ecstatic, you know, just get excited because it's a new ranger, right? Now, I'm not just saying this because it's a new ranger, new color, new character, but truly, Tyler's dad, James Navarro, might be one of my favorite rangers on the team so far. Uh, although we haven't seen a ton from him, and although you, you could argue uh, he might not be the best actor on the show, I very much like his character, and I like the way that the actor portrays the character, which we'll talk about more in just a minute. Also, in this episode, we get Prince Philip the Graphite Ranger, and if you were wondering where the hell he was, well, that's not answered. Um... That I yeah. okay so um, yeah but he's in it um, and uh, you know it, it's it's fun to see him it's also fun to see this really awesome morph sequence with aqua graphite and purple uh, Kendall you know she actually kind of gets in you know and throw, throws herself into the action this week uh, because she kind of has to. But I, I feel like the biggest complaint I could say about Kendall, because uh, I very much like the character and I love you know her as the Purple Ranger, but my biggest complaint with her is that they just don't use her as purple enough. And I know what you guys are going to say in the comments. Well, there's not a lot of Purple Ranger footage. But let, let's be honest, you know, they have proven that they can shoot a lot of original footage. And that's the other great thing about this episode. This episode had so much, so many original fight sequences, unmorphed fight scenes, morphed fight scenes, great. And I'm, I, you can seriously tell a difference between the American and Japanese footage. I, I'm, I'm not this in the, the Kiryuja footage, because I very much will enjoy watching that, but I, li I think I like seeing the American footage better. Uh, it's just, it has a fresher, kind of crisper look to it, which we can also talk more about, but right now let's kind of get into a breakdown of the episode. Like I said, great episode. Uh, this one, you know, I think there's probably one of the better episodes so far this season. Uh, you know, there, we, this is, like I said, we've only had six, but this has probably been, this week's and last week's probably two of the better episodes of the series so far, so I'm excited to see where it goes, so let's kind of get into a breakdown. So, we literally pick up, this, the episode picks up with Tyler and James, Tyler's dad, they're just hanging out, and they're morphed, they're hanging out morphed, and it's like, they're, you, we, we, they're actually, they're sitting on this big rock and cliff, and they're wearing, they're both wearing their suits, uh, with, with the helmets off, and they're like, you know, what, what, what are some really awesome adventures we can go on? And Tyler's like, why don't we go check out these caves? And he's like, for sure, Tyler, it's gonna be awesome! And then Tyler says awesome, and then his dad says awesome, and then they both say awesome together. Because awesome is the only word that's in their vocabulary. I, I, so really, I'm not, I'm not like dissing that. I just feel like it's so funny how they're always like using awesome. I love how his dad uses the word awesome too. It makes for some very interesting story. So uh, they're, they're just riding some bikes. They're having a good time. They're seems like they're catching up. And I, I think that's fun. You know, it, they're not dwelling too much in the fact that, Hey dad, you know, I, I, I feel so lost. You know, I felt so lost without you this you know, these past 10 years, uh, they're not really dwelling on that. They're kind of cutting more to the chase of, let's just catch up. And I think that really goes along with the personalities of the Navarro family. So, an important keynote there. Uh, and then we kind of head back to the base, and, you know, everyone's just kind of, you know, hanging out. Uh, of course, Kendall's working on some new stuff. She's working to now merge the Dino Supercharged Charger you know, Tyler's supercharge mode charger uh, with the uh, powers of the other, you know, Tyrannus, the, the other um, dinosaurs, not other T-Rexes, uh, and the, the other Energem powers, so then Tyler can, you know, have three dinosaur spirit powers inside his supercharge mode. Uh, and she's working on that. Uh, so, you know, that's pretty much where we are. And then that's where we break out into story time. Tyler's dad tells the team about how and what actually happened when he got his uh, Aqua Energen. 
So, of course, we get the flashback that we saw a couple weeks ago with Rusty uh, and Tyler's dad swoops in and he, you know, gets Rusty out of that, you know, the, the situation, except then the rocks all crumble on him. He couldn't move. His legs were just trapped under all these rocks after days. And uh, he, he found, he saw this, you know, glowing gem in the, in, in the stone. He, he, he touched it and then he was free. He was bonded to it, and that's when Fury showed up. And Fury had been scouring the tunnels, uh, the caves, for it seems like a long period of time. And he'd actually seems like he had another run in with Tyler's dad. Um, and you know, Tyler and uh, Tyler's dad, James, they and uh, Fury, they kind of had a big thing going on. And then, of course, um, Fury wouldn't stop coming after the uh, you know James, the Aqua Ranger. So that's why James Navarro couldn't return home to Tyler because he thought that if he returned home, he'd be putting his family in danger. And I'm like, oh my God, that's actually not a bad explanation. You know, it's not a good explanation. You know what I mean? It's not like a, a really well thought out, you know, thing. But I got to be honest. It shows character, and I think that's what's important. His dad decided, I can't even see my son. For t I won't see my son, even a little bit. I might observe him for a dis from a distance, but I'm never going to really be able to be with him because I'm afraid that the bad guys will get to him. And I, I mean, it's just, it's really cool. So I, I think that was a fair explanation. Then, you know, Prince Philip's there. Uh, they also kind of just clarify why Tyler's dad looks so young. Of course, we all know that, you know, when you bond to an Energem, you stay that age for however long you're with the Energem. Uh, but I, I really thought it was good that they addressed the fact that, you know, Tyler and James, they don't look like father and son, but they look like brothers. Chase addressed that. I mean, if they, if they didn't address that, it would have gotten a little weird. So glad that they did. Then we kind of caught up into space and Singe has this new thing. I, I don't really remember what it's called. There are these little green bands, I guess. It's this new device that he's attached to his arm. And they can basically, when, when they're near or attached to the Energem, they will completely drain the power and make it so that the Rangers are powerless. Uh, and then, of course, then Singe and uh, Hunter, you guys remember Hunter from last week, uh, they can go and steal the Energems. Really solid plan. We actually see no Snide this week. The, Snide is not in the, in the episode this week. Heckle is. Uh, just want, I want to address this really fast. Heckle really was dumbed down, I'd say, in this episode. Almost kind of disappointing. They really had a solid, like, three, four week span where Heckle and Snide were this, they were amazing. Uh, I kind of talked about this last week as well. The only reason I'd say they're c cutting more out for Heckle and Snide is just because, um, it, it, you know, there's too many characters now. Uh, and that's why, you know, certain characters left at the end of this episode, which we'll talk about in a minute. But I uh, just thought I'd let you guys know about that. Also, Fury, for sure, is had, you know, some temper things going on with Singe. I'm loving the feud between Singe and Fury. Really awesome. No Poissandra, no Curio, no Wrench in this week's episode as well. So Hunter and Singe get down there. The Rangers go immediately morph up. Um, and they go and they have a brawl of sorts. And that's where Singe lets it out. And it's all across their, you know, the, the green bands, they're all on their energy gems, they can't morph now. And uh, that's when Aqua and Graphite show up. They kick some ass, and it's pretty great. Um, and then they return back, they kind of just vanish. And Singe and Hunter's like, now their power's dampered, we can go after them. So back in the base, Kendall tries to remove one of the green bands, the power dampeners, and actually what happens is a crack is now inside and has now cracked. There's a crack in the red energy. But by, so by removing these power dampers, you end up just, you know, the, the, the energy gets cracked. Keeper informs everybody that by using a cracked energem, your power becomes unstable and extremely dangerous. So, of course, the rangers can't morph. Uh, and they can't fight. So, that's when we send in the B team. Purple, Graphite, and Aqua. It's morphing time. And that's when it all happens. And it's actually really fun watching Aqua, Graphite, and Purple just morph up together. I mean, I think that was the one combo that I think everybody wanted to see. Because... 
Aqua, Graphite, and Purple almost came in a package deal in Kiryuger, the Japanese counterpart to Dino Charge and Super Charge. So it was a lot of fun seeing that together. Also, Kendall, uh, James Navarro, and Prince Philip might be the oddest combo of characters that have ever stood together and fought on the same, you know, it, just together in the same lineup. Uh, out of all the, the, the whole team. So I just love the dynamic there. Uh, so then there was a really great fight scene, actually. And uh, it was just full on out, just fighting and fighting. Meanwhile, uh, just a little before this, Tyler and James, they went to the, the Samson ca uh, Caves. You guys remember the Samson Caves? That's where Tyler looked in the first episode for his dad. And that's where he actually found the Red Energen. Um, so that was really awesome to kind of go back there and like they could have just came up with a brand new random name for this other caves the the you know sledge the the I don't know what do you the sledgehammer cave or the the ice demon cave or the I don't know flaming wood cave or I I have no clue guys this is why I don't name caves for Dino Church because I'd come up with names like the flame wood or what, what I don't even remember what I said but it wasn't good at all it it's it, it's not good so they they went down there into the Samson caves which like I said we're familiar with and uh, Tyler actually ends up having to morph up into this unstable red. Uh, Dino Armor X form, uh, he's very unstable at the moment, and Tyler's dad's very worried, but Tyler's like, Dad, look, I've grown up since, you know, I was a little five, eight-year-old boy or whatever, and, you know, I, I, I have to take care of myself, we, you can't be thinking about me as your son right now, we have to be thinking about the world together, really in a, a solid speech, and Tyler's dad's like, all right, man, you got to do what you got to do. And then Tyler's like, awesome! No, I'm just kidding. He didn't say that. But how funny would it have been if he did? So uh, he just gets truly right in there, and he uncracks his Dino Charge, or his Energem. Uh, then he goes into Dino Supercharge mode and just completely goes off. Tons of fun there. Um, and from there, the Rangers, they end up taking down uh, Singe. They get into the Megazords. Uh, they, go, they go all in. Uh, the Rangers all, you know, end up getting their Energems uncracked and un, you know, power dampened. Fury and Singe, they're told by Heckle, hey, we're gonna kind of round you. He, Heckle's telling them we're gonna round you up. You guys are gonna make nice and fight together. Um, and, and the Rangers end up just kind of leaving the episode with James saying, hey, I gotta take my geology skills, go look for the Silver Energem. We don't know. So he's not gonna be part of the main cast. And same goes with Prince Philip. I guess we don't know what's going on with Prince Philip, but overall great episode. I'm going to give this a 9.8 out of 10 almost perfection loved it So let me know in the comment section your thoughts on the episode. Uh, is this what you were expecting? Is this the kind of explanation you wanted to get uh, for me? This totally was and uh, I can't wait for more really loved aqua graphite purple together And uh, well, hopefully we'll, we'll see more of aqua ranger with the silver ranger coming Hopefully soon, but most likely in the fall. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'm Ryder. Send it off some toys with attitude, and keep riding, guys. Bye.